Hello, welcome back to Out of the Glades. Thanks for joining me as always. It's a pleasure to have you here. So today I think we're going to continue working in the industry area. As you know, if you tuned in the last episode, we built the uh, four stack interchange and it's looking good and working pretty well. And now it's time to relocate our um, industry DLC, kind of like to its final resting place. I already started doing some terraining here. Did a very a little little bit here with the the ore our ore area. I would like to try and preserve this kind of like structure here, this Great Wall of China, we'll call it. And um, I just I'm not sure yet exactly what I want to do in here. I think this is going to look amazing when we're done. It's kind of got this sunken feel. We're going to have some little oil pumps and stuff in here with some of the the processors, kind of you know in the back here. And then I got I got started on the forestry. You can see this will be where our, our processes are, will, will end up here. So it's kind of some flat spots, but it's also kind of got a little bit of hilliness to it. Um, and of course, we'll fill in some trees if we can, uh, if the pollution allows it. And then of course, over here will be where our extractions will be and some of our storage. So you can kind of see we start start getting the road layer layout in already. And uh, I was working in you know streaming on Twitch, hanging out with my Twitch buddies. And we were starting to work on the farming here. And I kind of got wanted a, a more of like a rolling hills type of feel to it. With like a valley. And that's kind of what you see here. So I'm going to go ahead and start laying out some roads. And then we'll start moving some things. Start building it. We've got to run water. we got to do the whole whole nines here today. So you're in for a treat. So I think we're just going to kind of come down here and just follow the terrain. And we'll just kind of do like gradual like windy curves. And who knows where it will end? I'm not sure. And then I went ahead and made some room, some spots for I think I thought I did to do some connecting roads here. So let's take a look, let's see where the heck they are. All right, I did it here. All right, so we can connect to there. We will run a road up here, one road up here. We'll see, because the for the farms themselves can handle a pretty significant slope. I think so can. Yeah, these guys but these guys cannot so the um, you know like the milk plant whatever it is the, I have to go down this is this is the slaughterhouse is this the milk parlor or something like that yeah milking parlor cattle shed these guys need like a flat surface so they'll I think they'll be over here we got like some mounds and stuff over here same thing these guys need like a flat spot but these guys they can kind of accept some like terraininess unless you make it the, the um, Greenhouse, which maybe on some of the flatter spots will we'll turn into greenhouse. Just to have some of that. So what I'll do is I'll run some utilities because you don't need to see me water pipes and then I'll be right, right back. See you in a second. Hey, okay, so we ran our water and I went ahead and got started on moving our forestry over here and it's starting to look, to me it looks looking pretty good. And I'm just going to have to draw this road here and then it gives us like an, some extra, um, a little extra space and then we still have quite a bit of space here. So, and how many are, do we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I think 12 is probably the total. I will need. Oh, let's run this road in here. Yeah, it's looking real nice. I didn't really look to see what they're going to be producing. 
but I imagine I put all them trees in, so we should be getting full. Yeah, we're, we're fully green here. So that shouldn't be a problem. Let's get us a nice dirt road in here. Nice curvy dirt road. Kind of like here. Kind of like right here. Something like that. Maybe we can get one of them in here. Maybe our last one will go here. We're cramming everything in one spot, but that's okay. We're going to stagger the assets, so that way the traffic won't be a problem. It won't be a problem, be a breeze. Oh. I need to orient the road like more to that side, huh? Although we can stick it here. I kind of want to put something in here. We can always zone some um, of the uh, specialization industry. So that's these guys down here. Could do a couple like, of those buildings in here off this dirt road. Yeah, maybe we will. Maybe we will. I think that looks good. I'm wondering if I'll have them all conifer. What that would look like. It's a little boring, but it might blend in really well with the existing trees that we have. You know what I'm saying? Like, it looks like, yeah, that's what we're harvesting. Conifers. Conifers. I'm playing a few more. Uh, where's the trees? I like it. I like it a lot. So let's go ahead and get the storage units in. And well, let's leave the other stuff for future expansion. Like in here, we have like some resource here, and here and here. I only put like two, like three, you know, three or three, another like six or ten in here. It'd be plenty. If we want to really ramp things up, which I probably will in this city. I think this guy would look pretty good in here. Ball garden here. Oh, it's huge. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, you're going in here. And then uh, we have one of these already. And it's in here. So maybe you can go. Oh, I wasn't even looking, looking where I was at. It would be nice if they could have fit in here, but maybe he'll just fit right here. And put trees around him. And maybe we'll, once again, we've seen some yellow specialized industry, but we'll, we'll grab a couple of like the storage -y house storage type buildings that come with that. To kind of fill in some of these little gaps. Alright, put some trees in here. And we don't really need him to be on yet because these two are kind of doing what they need to do uh, we probably need to connect the road here oh we have this road I, I, I forgot we do have this road so they have access to something it would be good to like, connect these guys as well so maybe the bridge will come right here I'm trying to think do I want a wooden bridge Oh, I call it the Sleepy Hollow Bridge. Or do we want the... I feel like the... I like the Concrete Bridge. So let's do that. Let's, let's go ahead and do this first. The old Sinker Rooney trick. If you're a fan of the channel, you've seen me do this about 100,000 times. And I got another 100,000 times to go. We got a big old hole in the earth.
Oh, still doesn't like it. Still thinks that you can go there. Uh, deep enough. Not deep enough. We didn't get the core yet. So Skylines is like, it's not molten down there. I can go. I'm like, no man. Trust me. There we go. So is it just not high enough? Or are we hitting it with a pillar? I think there's a pillar on the left. Let's go out to here. I'm going to have to do the... Not so much on this one, this one, or this one. Can we land a pillar in the middle, please? What are you doing, Skylines? Why is it up there like that? So we can land a pillar here, right here. But I don't want a bridge that goes up like that. So we gotta do this. Alright. Maybe that'll help straighten them out a little bit. Come on. That's probably about right. Maybe we go up one more. Come back down. Try to get the pillar right about there. like that let me just do the dirt road here oh too bad or maybe we bring the concrete road up to the intersection here there we go that's a little bit better and we can just kind of do this. Level tool out. Push this back out a little bit. It's just tool. Fill everything back in. Grab the level tool. Fill it in a little bit there too. Maybe we'll just slow it out a little bit. So we need the main building. Maybe the main building goes right along the road here. Flatten this out a little bit. So I'm not going to have a huge hole in the mountain, in the hill here. Oh, might not go over too much. For the maintenance building. Where is that going to go? I'm not sure. That thing's big. That's the problem. The, the tough things I struggle with with the forestry stuff is just really big. These barracks are big. The maintenance, bar maintenance buildings are big. I really Maybe don't. I really don't know how useful these buildings are. Maybe somebody in an audience knows. I always was under the impression that these buildings aren't really that great to put down. 
it's just better just to put down a new asset. So like you know, they boost like different efficiencies, right? I can go up there. Okay. Pulp plants. Do pulp or not to pulp? That is the question. little piece is over here. expand this a little bit so I can fit like another one kind of like guy another one of these in here another one of these in here 
because we got a little bit of weird like space. We can put a road through the middle, kind of like box it off. All right, so let's see if we can fit quite a bit of stuff in here. Maybe run a road back here like this. Yeah, that's not too bad. A little bit of a space in here. So we can move this over and tighten this. Yeah, let's do that. through it and maybe we'll just do like a little path dirt path with some trees or we could orient the other way I'm just thinking we just do something like this I like that We got conifers everywhere. All right, so we'll carry the conifer theme over here. Oh, pretty big. <laughs> Maybe we won't carry it too far. <laughs> it's a monster right here. <laughs> can't even walk through the path. It's like, yeah, you know. That's okay. And maybe they, they, they cut down some trees. And then we could do something like, uh, you want it to be a little decorative? Maybe be a little decorative here. A little guy like this here. It's some fencing. Are you saying I can snap to this? Holy cow! That is awesome! <laughs> oh man, when did that happen? You can snap to the fence inside this thing? Oh man, that is a discovery. When did that happen? I didn't know that you could do that. Have you always been able to do that? Oh, there's a nice metal one. Now we have something to play with. So apparently you might be able to snap two things. Hmm. I never really tried it. But now I'm going to. Just draw like fences off of here. Sweet. Okay. Alright, I think that's looking pretty good. So there's the start of our forestry industry. I think it looks pretty good. We have some extra room here. For future extraction. For so some more plantations. Got some store extra storage here to absorb some of that extracted material. We got some extra with this, with this guy here. This guy here. We got some future expansion of our paper production. And we got I think we all, we got one. With this guy here. This guy here is like kind of like expansion of our plain timber and then I guess the next thing is to install 
We'll probably install the medium uh, warehouse somewhere. Maybe in a more of a, a warehouse area. That should be maybe up in this area here. Maybe we'll have. We'll see. We'll see because we might put. A we'll see where the, the warehouses end up going. But I like to keep them close to the the uh, actual factories themselves. Unique factories if we can. Well, I also got to do left is do some more do some detailing of that area. I think it's gonna look, look pretty good. We should bring a road in here. I don't really don't want the one way. I don't really don't want it one way in and one way out. I mean, we can. It's probably not gonna be that big of a deal, but it'd be nice to give another way in and out of here. Let's see how can we do that. All right, folks. Well, it's a pleasure hanging out. I appreciate it. I wish you the best. And whatever you do after this, thanks for watching the video. And as always, happy building. Well, our city has grown quite a bit since uh, we went ahead and relocated the forestry industry. So I thought I'd bring you along after I did some detailing. And like I said, the, the industry itself has kind of expanded. It's almost as full size here. Here's kind of the entrance of our forestry area. And you can see we've got the furniture factory in here. A little processing area was our, our pulp mills. And we got some couple office buildings just to help provide some of the support services, maybe HR, managerial, engineering type work to help the plants uh, you know, keep running smooth. So here's our entrance with our barracks and our main building. We come in here and we have our maintenance building. Went ahead and added some of the industry specialization buildings in here just to you know, help fill in a little bit of spaces and provide a little bit of extra detail to the area. A little bit of uniqueness in the build buildings as well as, you know, just like I said, it's nice to see things like those little uh, piles of 2x4s and crates and stuff just look laying around. Then you come up here. Here's our like engineering wood plants, making our plain timber. Yeah, as well as once again, a couple little office areas to help provide some like service, local services to those those plants. Maybe they're like little break rooms and stuff that people can go to. Then we got our another kind of like pulp mill area here with a mix of the industry specialization buildings and a couple of the engineer, kind of the, the plain timber type buildings as well, just to provide a little bit more flavor as well as it, you know, help soften the edge. So it's not like a big square, right? Did a little bit of terraining around here too, just to give some hills to provide that same kind of effect where, you know, it just doesn't, it's not like this flatness drops off, right? There's a little bit of character to the land. Nice little area here with our industry specialization and our pulp mill. I like how they kind of line up together. They feel like they, they belong together. It looks, and it looks really good. Then we went ahead and put this bridge in here. And I, I really I always like the concrete bridge. I mean, I love the rusted look, the steel look. Then we come over to our extracting area, you know, where all our tree plantations are. And I just like how they, they bl blend in. It just looks like from way out here, it just looks like a forest. <laughs> And it looks really, really good, you know, especially up against our, our diamond, inter or our, I should say the four stack interchange up here. Um, as you can see, there's a water feature that I think that I'll end up posting that video after this one. So you'll get to see, you know, how I went ahead and built a water feature that runs through our whole entire industry area. That'll be to come. So you get a little bit of a sneak preview right now. And once again, a couple of office buildings just in here to help provide some of those maintenance and maybe engineering and local kind of services that might be needed out in this area. Got a little radio tower to help communicate with our trucks as they make their deliveries, maybe over to CB radio. Mm. 
temple. Let's take a look at it as the sun goes down. Well, I hope you enjoyed the build. It was very fun to build. And I hope it inspires you or gives you something to take away to put in your city. Of course, you can find me on Twitch. Take my, new, my name, smash it all together, New Build City. Come say hi. Tell me how your forestry industry is going and what you've done to make it look good or operate efficiently or whatever you want to say. If you liked the video, you know, leave a thumbs up appreciate it helps the channel out of course and I would love to have you subscribe and become part of the NBC family so we can kind of continue this journey together I wish you the best in whatever you do after this and as always happy building <laughs>